Hi, my name is Leila. Welcome to Leila Land. Welcome to another episode about Metro in Stockholm. This is part two in the series and uh, today we are gonna explore the Blue Line. In my opinion, the Blue Line is the most beautiful line in Stockholm underground system. It's such a nice line and I think that everyone who is coming to Stockholm or everyone who is living here, they must visit every station on the Blue Line. As I mentioned in my part one video, the Stockholm underground was built in three main stages. The green line was built in the 50s, the red one in the 60s and the blue line in the 70s. What differentiates the art on the blue line from the art on the green and red lines is that the artists collaborated closely with the architectures from the early stages of the construction. Therefore, these stations have a sense of wholeness and harmony. The Green Line of Tessentralen was opened in 1957. The Blue Line is located below the Green and Red Lines. The Blue part of Tessentralen was opened in 1975. And I think the artists made a pretty great job. There are some flowers and leaves here and there. On these walls there are many shades of people doing something. But these are not just random people. These are the profiles of the real people who worked here on the construction of the Blue Line. On the Blue Line all stations are cave stations, except of Shista, which was built not under the ground and neither above the ground. It was built on a bridge. Solna Centrum is a very popular station for this for this burning red color. Many people associate this station and this red color with the hell, but actually this is not true. The artists wanted to show Swedish forest and in fact they have painted one kilometer of green forest here on the walls. This red color was supposed to be a sunset but when they were done with the painting they realized that there was too much green and too much red that's why they have added these kind of paintings the paintings depicted the social problems that existed in sweden in the 70s it's the pollution urbanization environment and so on by the way these problems are still relevant even today station is an air station with this very nice light green color which is very gentle and nice to your eyes it's, it's like a... green yellowish color but it's super super thin <laughs> super nice for your eyes it, it feels like I am walking in the forest there are these birches that are painted with a bunch of beautiful boats. An interesting thing that I noticed here in Husby is that these streets on the signs, the directions, uh, they refer for some reason to Norwegian cities. Berien is one of them, 
Trondheim is also a city in Norway. Can you hear the sound? Some people might be irritated and annoyed by the sound, but it's actually coming from this little thing and it's supposed to help people with disabilities. So next time when you hear it, so you know why you hear it. at the station called Solna Strand. It's a very interesting station with a very interesting decoration. Solna Strand is a cave station like most of the stations on the Blue Line and the artist decided to put pieces of sky here in the cave. And these pieces of sky are located everywhere. They are located here on the ceiling, on the walls, in fact, on both sides of the walls. And of course, here on the floors. In comparison to other cave stations, Risne feels very airy and very, very light. On both sides of the walls, the history of humanity is depicted and I think that the years are 3000 years before Christus until 1985 when this station was opened. at Rinkeby station and it's such a beautiful station you just need to come here the decoration of this station was inspired by the findings that were found here in the area and also by the runic inscriptions In the 70s, many people from different countries moved to Sweden, to Tensta and other suburbs in Stockholm and uh, that's why the artists wanted to make something nice and welcoming for the immigrants here in Tensta and uh, that's why they have created this station. On one side of the station where the trains are coming, on the walls there are different messages and quotes from people around the world and these messages are supposed to be nice and peaceful. A general theme for this station is a rose for the immigrants. Solidarity is another important theme of Tensta station.
Thank you for watching this video and following with me to my favorite stations on the blue line. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please like it and subscribe. See you next time.